my name is Joseph Korea, still from AgroSons Agribusiness. And today I have an interesting topic. Um, we're going to, to, to do uh, macadamia. So, um, macadamia, what is macadamia? Where does it come from? Macadamia comes from, um, it originates from Queensland. And it, it, it comes from the family Trote C. In Kenya, macadamia is grown in several provinces, uh, currently uh, referred to as regions. Uh, so, mainly they are grown in the central Kenya. Like today, I'm in central Kenya. This is Kiambu County, one of the producing counties in Kenya. Uh, another county that produces within the central Kenya is Morana, and we also have Kirinyaga. We have other counties that are Kanithi. And when you go to the western Kenya, they also produce, especially in Kakamega and Bungoma. And even uh, when you go to the eastern Kenya, you find counties like um, Taito Taveta, they also produce, and Rift Valley is one amongst them that also produces uh, these macadamia nuts, especially in uh, El Geo Maraquet, uh, popularly known as EMC, and uh, Nandi County, amongst many others. In Kenya, we uh, have two main uh, varieties that we grow. And uh, variety number one is uh, tetra, tetra, tetra filler, and variety number two is um, the macadamia intergrifolia. Uh, and we are going to talk about the botany of uh, the macadamia plant. And we start with uh, the, the leaves. The leaves are dark green, dark green in color. Uh, they have a network venations as you can see network venation and also if you see if you look at the at the margins we have some uh, uh, some 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 uh, some uh, stinging uh, prickles so you can classify it as serrated a serrated margin and uh, when you look um, that is the leaf um, uh, usually so in one internode we have uh, about three to four as you can see and um, we also uh, when you look at uh, the internet the final internet you, you can see and uh, not even in the final you can find uh, clusters uh, clusters of flowers but yeah now uh, in this season uh, the flowers have, have already matured the inflorescence is not uh, there so we're just going to look at uh, the clusters of fruits. Um, the inflorescence is usually white, uh, yeah, white in color, or um, uh, cream, cream, yeah, creamy white in color. Um, when you talk about uh, the, 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 um, the stem, the stem is hardy. Uh, the stem, um, yeah, the stem is hardy. If you look at uh, this, it's a big, a big tree, uh, very hardy. The branches are hardy. Yes, you can see. Sometimes on the branches you can find some uh, stinging prickles. Mm. So we have talked about the branch. This is a branch. This is a leaf simple leaf and um, of course uh, we have uh, this is uh, the cluster that we have been talking about so these are the fruits the macadamia that you eat um, and we, when we talk about the botany of the macadamia fruit you'll have to, to know that this is just the outer covering the green one because we are used to the brown one so when you remove you, you remove uh, you get so the outer one is called the berry cup and then obviously um, the meso cup. Meso cup is hardy, uh, uh, 
is hardy and forms the outer covering that you know uh, the outer covering of the nut uh, and the shell of the nut and inside the shell of the nut we have a white cavity uh, and that is the macadamia that we eat yeah so this cluster can be as long as six centimeters six uh, inches uh, to can be six inches up to 12 inches yes yes so we are going to and now we are going to talk about the uses of macadamia so macadamia is mostly used it's a popular uh, dish like cupola uh, as, and naturally uh, you just break the nuts and you eat the content that is inside it is also used in uh, in desserts um, they are also used in making uh, the bread the dove making the, the dove because of the oil uh, that is uh, found within the macadamia it makes it to, to be so nice and also flavors it has a uh, very nice uh, flavors uh, that you, you you add to your food uh, yeah so macadamia is also used in production of oil uh, maybe the cooking oil it's very uh, a nice uh, it produces very nice cooking oil and also produces very nice skin oil that medically it it nourishes the skin and it helps us keep our skin uh, in good conditions um, yeah and also um, macadamia is popular because of the uh, the fact that it has a vitamin b com complex that it is it has vitamin b1 b2 the, the b's uh, in it which are very very important to, uh, to our lives in cell production and um, macadamias are advised uh, to pregnant women um, if you have not had because of the uh, their impact on cellular uh, cellular growth uh, because they help in cell reproduction cell growth and cell development within the in the the fetus yeah those are just a few uh, of the uses of macadamia in our homes uh, you find that macadamia has a very nice shade so you keep them you, you you just plant the macadamia around your home and you find uh, that it has a very good canopy that brings a very nice shade talk about the processes that bring the academia from uh, planting and sowing uh, until uh, the end of it all and um, for you to get uh, this macadamia fruit you have to undergo through various uh, processes and you have to do certain uh, practices and all the practices that are carried out on a, on a crop uh, until its maturity are referred to as cultural practices. So what cultural practices do we have? Or what cultural practices do we do in academic plant? Number one is sowing. Um, uh, you get uh, different varieties uh, on sowing. Uh, so once you, uh, even the macadamia seeds uh, got, uh, get on the ground, they start uh, producing the roots and obviously they shoot and that takes approximately three weeks and after three weeks you can gather them and uh, they uh, you you keep them in a conducive environment where they can produce uh, the seedlings and the seedlings, uh, the seedlings are ready for use uh, after three months yeah so after you have your seedlings you do the transplant now before the transplanting you can do uh, two you can do uh, uh, another method of production of the seedlings and that is the vegetative production of the seedling so you can uh, produce clones a clone is produced vegetatively while a variety is produced by the use of seeds that's the difference so you get a clone uh, through the vegetative uh, culture 
uh, yeah so you get like a branch and you make a uh, seedling out of it and then another method is um, grafting so once you have your your seed uh, your 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 nene your branch like for example if you have let's say this is our seedling uh, the initial seedling that came out of uh, of the of the uh, of the seed and you don't want that variety you want an improved variety that is you want to get a clone on it so you just have to do a grafting yeah you can do cleft grafting it's very uh, good and produces good seedlings uh, for transplanting make sure that you do hardening 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 is exposing the seedling into uh, the environment that you want it to be grown in order for it to adapt into that environment and after you you, you harden your, your seedling take it to the, to the chamber and you do um, the uh, you have to now come and do transplanting transplanting you require uh, some manure uh, you need uh, some fertilizer when you're doing the inorganic production for organic production you just need manure uh, 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 you have to uh, irrigate your plant and do mulching in order to prevent the water loss from the soil you now have to train your your, your plant the way you want uh, you want your plant to be straight uh, so for it to be uh, straight you have to to do what we call a pruning and um, we develop the framework uh, of the of, of, of the of the of, of the of your tree um, through uh, pruning uh, where you let your plant to grow up to a, a maximum of uh, 1.5 meters for one meter depending on how you want it to be and then uh, you cut it uh, like you cut it and then you leave it uh, and then it will start producing the branches uh, yeah uh, before harvesting you can have uh, to uh, to do the control of pests uh, the control of pests because pests is a major uh, 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 problem that the farmers face in Kenya so you have to do the control of pests um, uh, you can also do thinning out thinning out is the removal of uh, excess uh, plants within the plantation within your orchard for example when uh, when the seeds when the seeds go, get on the ground they start uh, uh, producing seedlings now you don't allow the seedlings to to be more because it will be bushy in your in your, in your orchard so you have to keep on removing them and then we also remove all, we have the removal of all the branches deceased branches and uh, the the branches that have undesirable characteristics you have to remove them so that those are j just some of the cultural practices that are done in macadamia production and uh, after that you start um, uh, receiving your your, your, your crop uh, your, 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 your nuts will start uh, forming and uh, for that you, you just do uh, harvesting of, of, of the of, of the, the nuts the major challenge that uh, farmers will tell you we are facing is the fluctuation of prices uh, for instance um, a farmer will come and tell you that we, we just received uh, um, a price of 30 bob per kilogram uh, that is 30 shillings uh, that is 0 0.3 us dollars that's a small amount of uh, of, 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 uh, of um, money that is received to farmers and also we know that macadamia is very labor intensive it can be labor intensive and also it requires you know fertilization uh, fertilization regularly and also the maintenance uh, can be a, a little bit uh, expensive uh, yeah and also takes a big space within the land uh, so um, the one thing that the, the farmer who uh, plead to the government is uh, for them to uh, to check on the prices and also come up with uh, factories for value addition of the macadamia nuts so that they don't sell their nuts as raw nuts uh, but produce uh, value increase value of their produced uh, nuts 
and so that we can have a plant that is producing um, oil, macadamia oil, um, uh, the, the skin oil, the cooking oil, and so forth. And the farmers will be very happy. And I know that this is something, something that can boost the economy of Kenya um, uh, to, uh, in terms of billions of shillings because uh, like in 2016, it, it, it gave us um, above 3.6 billion Kenyan shillings and that's a good amount of money to the government. So um, let's see, let's meet next time and God bless you.